But new right now at six, lawmakers and farmers are calling for emergency action for what they're calling a dire situation. News Street first told you about some 75 dairy farmers who are losing the market for their milk. News 3's Valina Jones has continuing coverage of this issue that will become a crisis for them in just less than a month. That's right, and they're really nervous about, you know, what's going to happen because right now there is no solutions. And the clock is really ticking for around 75 dairy farmers throughout the state who were informed that as of May 1st, their milk will no longer be accepted by their milk processors. Now state and federal lawmakers are pushing for solutions. Every phone call we get, we're hoping that's that's going to be the answer. That's going to be the lucky call. It's a call Jennifer and Sean Sauer hope will lead to a solution to save their dairy farm. You hope that phone, next phone call is the one that says, yes, they'll take your milk. And then you hope that this doesn't happen again. State and federal lawmakers, as well as the State Department of Agriculture, are all trying to intervene on behalf of farmers like the Sowers. The couple were one of 75 other farmers informed that grassland dairy products will no longer accept their milk because of a trade issue with Canada. Lawmakers, though, believe Canada is violating those trade obligations. No solutions at all. That's the frustrating part. I mean, nobody wants to give an answer. Yep, nobody wants to give an answer. No they wants to be responsible. With an excess of milk and not a big enough market, experts believe it won't be easy to find a solution. Everybody's full. Everybody's got uh, about all the milk they want to handle. And we've got dairy products that are facing a soft market right now. While processors may be maxed out on dairy, Stevenson believes bartering with Canada on other trade agreements could help tip the scale. If you're rattling a saber and, and threatening, you know, uh, other things that could be uncomfortable for Canada, then, you know, you can say, give us some slack on dairy and, you know, we'll give you some slack on softwoods or something like that. For the Sours, it's not just their job, but their livelihood that's at stake. This isn't a job to us. It's a lifestyle. Um, so we're going to continue. We're going to fight to the end. Um, we're not going to give up. Now, all of Wisconsin's congressional delegation, as well as the governor today, sent a letter to the U.S. Commerce and Ag Secretaries, as well as the U.S. Trade Representative. They are asking for immediate action to address this dire situation that affects dairy farmers. Now, affected dairy farmers have scheduled a private meeting this Friday to put their heads together to see if they can come up with any solutions of their own. So, you know, a lot of nervousness right yeah, now because they course. just don't know what's going to happen. Big story. We'll keep mm -hmm. people posted on what happens here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thanks, Liz.